Okay, now we're booting up the PlayStation Classic. I already showcased the Mega Drive Mini S and NES Classics for the update, but now we're going to showcase a few things related to Donkey Kong that are going in the update for PlayStation Classic. I'll get these into the S and NES Classics at a later time, probably next release, but for right now, you guys and gals who are on the predominantly uh, critically bashed PlayStation Classic, which is actually an awesome, awesome system, you're going to see some cool stuff here. We're going to load the Arcade FB Neo Core. Low content. Star Treasury Dummy. We're going to go to my Donkey Kong folder and we're going to play some hacks. We're going to do the uh, reverse hack. And you're going to need to have the normal Donkey Kong zip in the same folder along with the hack. And then you're going to load the hack. And then obviously if you're on NASA and NES Classic, once I implement that, you're going to simply add the hack as a game and then copy and paste the Donkey Kong zip into the same folder. But right here's the reverse Donkey Kong hack, and just check it out for yourself. This is pretty damn funny. And I also have sound support, so you're going to be able to hear the Donkey Kong crash. Boom. Boom. Without the sample support, it's going to be silent, and you're not going to hear the squeaky, weaky, weaky, wild west sound effect Cartman style of Donkey Kong shoes as he runs across the stage. Look, I'm at the top of the stage from the get-go. So yes, you have the challenge of doing it in reverse. Bam, it's very, very incredibly challenging, but very, very cool. And there are a good nearly dozen hacks that you're going to be able to play with the update. I'm just going to showcase three of these for right now. See if I can make it anywhere here. I don't think I'm even going to make it anywhere. I think I'm going to be an embarrassment to myself here. But yes, reverse hack if you have, uh, if you really, really want to play this. There's also a hack where you can do the entire game without any enemies whatsoever and get to the kill screen if you'd like to. This is not easy. This is it requires some special time in here. Oh, great. I don't even think I'm going to have a chance to make it to the bottom of the stage. Ah, oh, jeez. Maybe. Definitely different. Ah, oh, I'm so close. Oh, double barrels. Here's how I deal with double barrels. <laughs> That's how I deal with double barrels, guys and gals. Look at the bottom of the stage here. I have these flame things, which are going to be an issue. I don't even know if I'm going to make it to the end of the stage here. Hopefully I will. Whoa, whoa. Damn, so close. We're going to try another hack right now. That's pretty damn fun. If I don't say so myself, Donkey Kong. Help if I go to the right folder. Oh, uh, we're going to do the uh, Christmas remix right now. Again, make sure you have the hack and then the Donkey Kong zip in the same folder. Load the hack first. And again, I'll have this implemented for probably the S and NES Classic, either this update or next update, but you'll see it in the release notes. But Christmas remix. Awesome. We should have our sound effects in tech too. Again, there are a dozen plus hacks for this, and I'm going to try to have all these supported on the SNES Classic, Mega Drive Mini, and even the PlayStation Classic, because for right now, most of these are going to work predominantly on the PlayStation Classic. Very, very cool. Nice Christmas theme here. But we're not quite close to Christmas just yet. Gingerbread Man, what am I going to do with a gingerbread man? I guess I'm going to use the candy cane on a gingerbread man. And of course, you could play the Pauline hack, which is uh, what one father did when his little girl wanted to play as a female rather than a male protagonist. And look, we have... <laughs> I failed there. But yes, you have uh, things that actually come and bounce around. It's crazy. We're going to do the... Since we have Halloween coming up in a couple weeks, we're going to do that one. So we're going to do Donkey Kong. And we're going to do the spooky remix, which is incredibly difficult. And again... You're going to see my release notes on all of these. Great, great. One of the best ones. This was previously only run via command prompts on PC, but now we have it running on the actual core FB Neo. Awesome stuff here. See if I can even make it past the first stage here, because barrels actually fly at you from every angle. Look at it. We have a little cannon shooting barrels there. It's crazy. See that? We have a hand, an axe. Oh, jeez. Let's try to get at least to the top of the stage here. But yes, we got some incredible Donkey Kong hacks. 
and Driver99 is one of the people that got me into the Donkey Kong hacks to begin with. I've never really been a huge fan of hacks at homebrew, but there have been enough of these out there to really get my interest over time. And this and Christmas Remix are amazing, as well as the reverse one. All very, very cool stuff. Whoa! Third time's the charm here. And again, Donkey Kong's already an incredibly difficult game. Doesn't get any easier with the hacks, making it even more difficult. And I'd recommend running the uh, Donkey Kong game on Game Boy because it is very, very cool. Once you get past the initial stage, it actually turns into a different kind of game entirely. I failed miserably, so there we go. <laughs> I have uh, three for three filling on all three hacks today. Hope you enjoyed the video and this will be out in a release tomorrow.